me again. Just thought I'd give y'all a bonus tutorial this week. This was not my original idea. I saw a million of these at Halloween and I just got the idea that, oh my goodness, this would look cute as a Christmas candle. Um, I'm using a 20 ounce straight from Cup Artistry Blanks. I sanded it with a 120 grit sanding block, wiped it down well with alcohol, and I have my hot glue gun. I got a new hot glue gun, y'all. Yippee, I'm not using my little ratchet one now. <laughs> so you want to start with going around the top with a layer of hot glue. And I probably should have let my hot glue gun sit a little longer so it could get good and hot. I don't think I had it good and hot to start with because <laughs> it starts working a little better as I go. But anyways, you want to do a thin line around the top of the cup. And that's going to start dripping down as you're doing it. As you can see here, I'm just going around that rim with the hot glue. And I just continue to do this until I get all the way around the cup. And then I'll come back with another layer of hot glue on top of this hot glue just below the rim because what you're trying to do is build a melting candle so if you remember how the old vintage candles look like after they've been used over and over the candlesticks they start to build up on the top there and that's what you're trying to do Now I'm just going to take my heat gun and I want to point it downward because I want to heat this hot glue up and make it drip a little more. The hot glue dries so fast, but you can just take any heat gun that you have, point it toward it and point it downward so that you can heat it up a little more and it will give you a little more drip. And this is going to be personal preference, what you want. I kind of want mine to be like thicker, wider drips. And you'll see as I go how I'm building that and making that happen. <laughs> like magic! Psych! But anyways, it's a slow process, it feels like. But this is a really simple, quick cup to do. This is the um, most timeful process is this. So now I'm just going back over the area I've done and getting those wider drips that I want. See? So perfect! Now I'm going to go ahead and finish around the cup with the rest of the hot glue that I need on this other side. And then I will use my heat gun again and get the drips I want on that side. And then I'll be ready to do another layer of hot glue. Now I got that done, I'm doing my next layer of hot glue here. And finally, my hot glue gun's working lovely. And I'm just gonna go around this with my second layer and now use my um, heat gun to get the drips I want there. And you just continue to do this process until it is to your liking. Everybody has a different mindset on vintage candle in their mind so it's whatever's in your mind just keep going and working at it until you get what you want just going back over and hitting spots that I may want a little more drip and um, just touching up different spots 
It's turning out so perfect. It's going to be so perfect. If you get any hot glue that like strings down or drips down on the side, some of that is fine because it actually gives you a more natural candle look. Some of it, if you don't like it, you can go ahead and pull that off because it's very easy to just take off of this stainless steel. And you want to go ahead with your craft knife and trim around that top because you don't want there to be any thing up above that rim any of that hot glue up above that rim if you have any hot glue up above that rim just go ahead and trim that off and clean that rim up well so that when you come back with your epoxy you'll have a smooth area there Now that I have that good and cleaned up, now I'm going to take my cup outside. I'm going to spray it all flat white, Rust-Oleum two times, then let that dry, and then come back over it with almond. That was fast. I paint fast. As you can see, I came back over it with the Rust-Oleum two times almond. It's so pretty already. I've cut out a Merry Christmas decal. I just found this on Google. I think I searched Santa Claus, Merry Christmas, SVGs, and that's how I found that. And then I have this traditional Santa. I got him a long while back on Etsy. I'll have to look and see if it's still on there. But um, I used this last year. And I have it printed out on Cricut printable vinyl. And then I just used my scissors and trimmed it and cut it out instead of using my machine because I just that was just how I wanted to do it. Now I want to find the perfect spot to put the Santa because I have on each side of the cup there I have two very long drips so I think he's going to look perfect right here between those two very long drips. He's so cute! So I'm going to place him here. Cricut um, printable vinyl doesn't have to be sealed, and it is actually very easy to work with. I usually don't prefer any Cricut vinyl. I do use some and have some, but I don't prefer it. But I do prefer the Cricut printable vinyl over any other printable vinyl. So I'm going to place that here. And then, isn't he so cute? Then on the opposite side... I'm going to place my decal. And I'm just going to come just below my drips on that opposite side where I want to put the decal. And it actually looks so cute once I get it on there. So perfect. But you can use any decal that you want. I mean, nobody has to. My way is not the perfect way, perfect and only way. It's whatever way you want, whatever decal you want. This is just an idea. Sorry, y'all, I get so excited when I'm making these cups and they start to come together. I absolutely love making cups and I just get excited when it starts to come together I'm just like a kid in a candy store because I don't know why I just love to craft and make it just makes me so happy this um, black vinyl was one that I got off of Amazon it's called HTV, but it's not um, heat transfer vinyl. And it's a matte black. It's actually so much easier to work with than my other vinyl. And I will find that link and list that in the description box below. But that's why it's on a clear um, backing. It's a little different than your other vinyls. But um, it goes on so well, and it the epox it epoxies well and everything. Like it's just really great vinyl to work with. And I'm just gonna place this right back here. 
I like to stand my cup up, just kind of see where I'm going to put that before I press it down. I'm going to put it right here, just below these drips. perfect so now what I'm gonna do is take my Mod Podge and I'm gonna seal the whole entire cup Cricut printable vinyl does not require sealing and this black vinyl it does pretty well without me sealing it but I will tell you since this pandemic and the shortage of paint I have been having a huge problem with my Rust-Oleum two times paint um, I'm having a problem with them causing my epoxy to fish eye. I don't know if we're just getting old paints that have been sitting because they've ran out of other paints. I don't know what's happening, but there's something is not quite right <laughs> with these paints. So I have been buying Krylon when I can because I'm just not happy with the Rust-Oleum right now. But I'm going to take my... Mod Podge here and I'm going to go over the cup really well and seal it and just make sure I get in all those crevices in my drips and Just seal it really well so that I don't have any problems when I apply my epoxy. I Don't want to wake up in the morning to a mess <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and Be on the safe side and seal it completely sealed it and I'm gonna let that dry really well you want to make sure that's completely dry before you epoxy and I let it completely dry man that was fast <laughs> I've mixed up 30 milliliters of epoxy and I'm going to add Marabou's terracotta alcohol ink I'm putting three drops And then Sunshine Yellow by Tim Holtz. I'm going to add that also. And I'll add three drops of that. Mix slowly into my epoxy. And this is going to give the candlestick the vintage look that we're going for. And it really settles in those crevices of the drips also. And gives it that vintage look. And Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I love it. So I'm just going to mix these in slowly. And the alcohol inks are translucent. So I can go right over my vinyl and everything. And it's going to be just fine. Just fine. I am going to put just a tad, a very light tad of Mr. Nola's Crew Juice in here. Because, yes, it's vintage. But I love for everything to sparkle. I just feel like everything is more beautiful when it sparkles. So I'm just adding, see, just a very tad. I'm going to mix that in slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Not to make a bunch of bubbles in my epoxy. And now I'm going to get my glove. Normally, I have nitrile gloves, y'all, but I ran out, and I was having a hard time finding them, so I had to get vinyl gloves, but always make sure you wear the proper, uh, th 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 proper PPE, and nitrile. nitrile gloves are the proper PPE, but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my epoxy on here. And I want to make sure I get in all these crevices around these drips really well. I don't want to pile the epoxy up there. 
So be very careful with using too much and it piling up under there. You just want to make sure you go in and around all those crevices with a light layer of epoxy, but don't pile it on. And once I get done applying my epoxy, I'm going to let this turn for 12 hours because I'm fixing to go to bed. <laughs> so it will be 12 hours before I get up and check my cup. And um, I shouldn't have to sand anything or anything. If I have a bump or something, I'll knock that down. But I should be able to go right in with a second coat of epoxy. And as long as I get around all these crevices and drips well, that should be it. Two coats should cover it. But isn't this so beautiful, y'all? I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. It's nothing spectacular, but I just thought it was a cute idea and I wanted to share it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to follow me on all my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and share um, all of my posts. I give, I do random giveaways for those who share my um, projects or my posts. And I gave out three tie-dye shirts the other day to three random winners, winners who shared my post. And just to say thank you. I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. Please remember that you are beautiful. You are precious. You are needed in this world. And you are loved. And never give up. And thank you for watching.